Hello. Well, I am a rookie at this. I've never done one before. I was determined to do it. I don't think it pays for the little copper you're going to get out of it. Especially, you don't have the right tools. I decided to take an alternator apart. The other piece is already in there, clean cast. This is probably going to end up as dirty cast because there's so many rotten bolts on here. This part came off right away once I popped it apart. That part might be worth it. So it's in the to-do copper pile. Well, this is the first time I ever got one of these stupid things apart. Yeah. They are not that easy. If you ain't got the right tools. I still ain't done yet, and I've been working on it for about 40 minutes. So it ain't gonna make me uh, rich by any means. I know some of you guys have done these before, but I have never ever, because I didn't know how they came apart. I think it was a uh, snobby scrap picker. I watched his. But when you got the proper tools, it helps too. And he had pullers and pushers and you name it. Almost sounds like he's selling drugs. Pullers and pushers. <laughs> but anyways, if you ain't got the right tools, I wouldn't even bother. Just throw it in your motor bucket. But I had to see for myself if I could ever get one apart with knowing that they do come apart. Got some nice copper on there. I'm going to end up pulling it apart like that. That's what I'm going to end up doing. Just like that. So. It is really nice copper. I've never seen how one was made, because then you would know how one gets taken apart, right? So. Yeah. I did a lot of beating on this as you can see the points are missing. See they're supposed to be pointing like that. That's how I got it apart. I knew they just compressed together but yeah I get a small pulley here but that's the one I found scrapping. See if this is gonna help or hinder. Okay, I need to cut you down. You know, I'm not gonna throw the copper in the bucket yet because I want to see exactly how much I actually get of this if it's even worth it. Those little plastic bits can go in the garbage. So my garbage guys and my blue box guys, none of them argued with what I had at the road, so they took everything. I've had it years ago where they refused. Okay, I see where that's going to go. Yeah, I'm thinking that probably pops right off of there. I didn't think you are going to come off very easily. Now you're catching on to these things. Yep, I'm just going to cut them off. So it's catching, binding, whatever. Hmm. Well, if I put the grinder to it and cut all these little pegs off, more wasted time and money, right? I'm trying to make this profitable, not non-profitable. I already used the saws all, all that good stuff. I don't know how that would even come off if it does come off. Imagine it did, it probably spooled it up and they stuck it on there, maybe. 
has to be because that plastic is wedged in between. Well, Yeah, I'm wrapping it around my hand. It's probably not the smartest thing to do either, but I'm just pulling. I'm not dragging it behind a truck or anything. Oh, a nice big clump came off. Yeah, I thought about taking a load in today, but I don't think that's going to happen. Well, that's a start. There's still an awful lot on there. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like a lasso. <laughs> it is empty. Okay. So yeah, that's compressed on there somehow. I do not know how that comes off, so. It is cast steel, but it's not clean. For me to clean it, I have to take these out. Now that looks like copper, so I'll have to play a little bit on that. So imagine that's what rode on. Stuck through there. Yeah, that's what rode on maybe a brush or two that's in there. Ah, you know what? There. Plus the other half yet. The varnish is coming off. It's revealing cleaner copper. But it is copper. It's got the weight to a couple pounds easy. Well, unless you have the proper tools. Yeah, so now that took an hour. An hour for what? Three bucks? If that's two pounds, it's six bucks. Six bucks an hour. Ooh, going to be filthy rich. This ain't even done yet, see? Imagine the brushes are in there somewhere. It's going to be through that hole. Yeah, there they are. Right there. That's got a couple of bolts holding it on. There's the plug and the main wire that goes to the starter. Or to the battery, either one. I know the main red comes off your battery and goes directly to your starter and then it goes elsewhere. So the starter needs juice all the time. My recommendations don't bother. Not unless you have the tools and you've done 20 or 30 of them. This would have helped if I could have turned it around, maybe. I don't know. I don't trust these things because the tighter you make them and then they decide to jump on you, yeah, that could be freaking dangerous. It's just as dangerous as jumping in front of a vehicle. Surely hurt. I'll take that part apart yet. Since we're here. Yeah, it's too big. I'm not even sure how that's gonna come apart if it is just those two. Those two, two minutes in one. Yeah. That's 
That's the one right there. Yeah, it's just spinning. See that? Unless you're not the right size. Yeah, you are. Just spinning inside. Did I figure? Yeah, and there's no way to hold it. Iron and aluminum. Not even going to take you apart. Hell with you. There. Now it's not wasting any more of my time. Trying to make a couple more pennies. Some things just aren't worth it, I guess. Right? So. Yeah. So you got to see one. I've never done one before. Look at that. It took 11 minutes. Just what little bit I showed on camera. And that's what we got for it. That. And the piece that's in that bucket. It still has to be stripped yet. So see it ain't done yet. And a little bit of cast. Got dirty cast. Clean cast. There's a piece missing. Oh, look at that. I'm already losing a piece? No. Electric motors are easier. Oh, there it is. I think that's no, that ain't it either. Oh, look at that. I don't even know where the other piece is. It's a big chunk. <laughs> oh, wow. I got a couple more in there. See that? Four more. Hmm. Holy moly, that one's heavy. The only part that came off the bestest on these stupid things is these bolts right here. And you figure they would have been seized right up. That one's a little different, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Decisions, decisions, and there's a air conditioning pump. <sighs> yeah. What a beautiful day. <laughs> Should just go light that pit up, grab some cold beers and a lawn chair, and sit down and wait for the wife to come home. She'll be home in three hours, so. Okay, here you go. Like, subscribe, and share or not. I don't think it's worth it.